Loris was banned, and now the modern metagame is perfect. And by perfect, I mean it's balls. Every single deck now is a combo deck. It's like as soon as combo decks see that Loris is banned, they wake up faster than my uncle's peed on ice cream day. Because with less black decks, there's less discard. It's kind of racist, if you ask me. Plus, even more racist. If we have a cool combo like this, getting back a little split on turn four, that's pretty sexy. But why would we do that? If we can just get back our whole graveyard for three mana, or exile three creatures, or get four randoms on turn three, but fret not my big boys. Because today we are fighting racism with our sexy mill deck. We have main deck surgicals and extra pates, which means when we mill our opponent's combo pieces, we can remove them from opponent's deck. Also, we're full of Tasha. Which exiles cards from the top of the opponent's library until we get a mana cost of 20. It's not so good now that Loris is banned, but after we take out our opponent's expensive cards, Tasha is much more powerful. And now that Mill decks don't have Loris, they can once again play in Staring Bridge. We can get some opponent's creatures that can attack us. And thanks to Neon Dynasty, we have Marshall versus Sorrow. It deals damage and gains its life, and we can exile cards to make it cost less. The life gain is pretty useful, and it can also hit Planeswalkers. The rest of the deck is typical of Mill, Archive Trap, Fractured Sanity, Mama's Crabs, Visions to draw cards, Surround the Lock to Kill and Counter, and First Sideboard. We can return stuff to hand, Counter stuff, Mimi Hate, more Graveyard Hate, and another bridge. That is the deck now it's time to go stop racism. But first, please just subscribe, because we're super close to 69,000 subscribers. And when we hit it, it'll be a dummy thick giveaway. And now off we go. Opening hand has a lot of potential, so we're gonna keep. And nice to fetch. A crab. And since our opponent fetched, mill 13. Oh, and it's hot nauseum. I hope they don't have any combo cards in graveyard that they need. Oh, wait a second. It's a Lotus Field hot nauseum variant. We just find a surgical that should lock it. So there's a play Lotus Field, untap to make a net load of mana, and pop off with a wish. Cracker Sanity, we'll mill, fetch mill some more. Keep trying to lock it already and pass. Oh, opponent's passing. Gotta watch out for talisman. But a cycle here would be pretty sexy. Cycle. And more crabs. Just like the ones Bomba has. We'll play it safe and pass, even though their entire deck is gone. Upon activate Talisman, plays Lotus Field, tries to untap Lotus Field, but counter. And there's a concede. A hard fought battle, but now it's on to game two. Going on game two is gonna opponent an enema. Bringing in all this for all this one without getting two. Opening hand, no surgical. The two drown on the locks will keep. I want to play Seeding Visions. Bobble. Imperfect. We just gotta start milling a bit. Oh, but Inquisition. Fine. They take our surgical. Oh, we draw another. The Magic Cosmos want us to clap cheeks. There's Wish. But they have one odd nauseum in deck. We'll mill some more. Huh. We'll pass for now. Our opponent's afraid to fetch, as they should be. Ooh, Lotus Field. And they're going for it. We'll counter. Unfortunately, Lotus Field has Hexproof. Oh, and draw on the Surgical. Nice. Mill. We take out Underworld Breach. Maybe Miles will take out Wish. Making life extra hard for opponent. Flame. There's a concede. I wonder why. And now it's on to the next banking. Opening hands acceptable. We'll keep. Play Crab and Pass. Mechanical Scrotum. Okay. We'll play another Crab. Shell Lock. Oh, and it's a Living End deck. They can put one of the Living Ends in Graveyard. And their butt cheeks are ours. Opening passes. Play Land. Oh, and there's a Living End. We'll wait for opponent's turn. Oh, and they're going for it. How cute. But unfortunately, for opponent. Take out the Living End. Their hand's pretty balls. Oh, we milled an Architect. Might as well Surgical that as well. So there goes their hand. And their virginity. And hell's back to us. Mill six. Pass. As does our opponent. Archive trap. Pass our opponent. Uh oh, opponent's attacking. But then they realize it's hopeless. So we're going to game two. I'm going in game two is bringing this for this one without something two. Opening hand, we have graveyard hate. But this seems a little slow. It's a little mole. And yes, this is good. We'll keep. We'll hand. Give our opponent the crab. Oh, but our opponent takes a crab. And my outspeed is here. Maybe we play crab or fractious sanity. I think we gotta go crab. Mill. Opponent cycles. And there's land number three. I can't imagine they go for it here. That seems a little too risky. Okay, they're going for it. We'll surgical. And surgical. And our opponent can enjoy the two creatures. Land, okay. Should we meld them? We should probably cycle. Opponent fits this for five. Passes, cycle. Archive trap. Play archive trap. Our opponent wants to happen. Extra pate, that's pretty good. But we still gotta deal with their creatures. Oh, all right. Opponent turns violent outburst to hand. I'll buff their creatures as well. Feels a little stinky. Oh, extra pate their outburst. Just call that dispute in hand. We take five. Visions, okay. Play visions. Opponent tries to counter. We'll pay it and drown the lock, okay. I'm not sure we'll survive this. So at least we gotta drown the lock now. Opponent swings. So this is one. Oh, place curator. Oh my, so close. One card away from being able to cast archive trap. We could cycle for four and mill for 13, but it's only 17. Four short. And if the other run won't help, we'll try drawing. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. I think that will do it. Incursion. Gaining 33 life. And now good luck to our opponent. They swing. They pass. And now let the fisting commence. Mill three. Three more. Cycle. Activate shell dock. Oh, one tries a counter. No. And there's the match. Making the world a better place sure feels good. But our generosity cannot end here because it's on the next match. Oh, hunting hand lands are a bit iffy. We'll try it. Play land to pass. Oh, one plays man dork. We'll draw. Eh. The crab. Mill three. Woka. That looks like a combo deck to me. However, they may have Emrakul which shuffles their graveyard, so we must be careful. I opponent does two to crab, okay. And plays ravioli. Pull a strand. Mill. Opponent has a magus. Mill some more. Three lightning bolts in a row, interesting. We'll pass back for now. Opponent swings. We'll kill. Kitchen Finks, sure. Not that life gain helps them. A nice fracture sanity. We'll hard cast it. There's still no Emrakul. Everything in their deck costs one or three. We'll go target someone that costs three. And puts a creature in play that costs more than that. It's very concerning. Okay, we'll pass. Opponent this for four. There's another hierarch. Then passes. Visions, okay, we'll draw. Oh, and Tasha's his laughter. That exile stuff from the deck. We'll first play land. And now mill. Five cards left in the deck. And so far, nothing big. Where is the big thing? That's what she said. I'll want to this for five this time. Plays Pyromancer. Oh, and there's Emrakul. Surgical. Look in Blood Moon in hand. Now the problem is the shuffle still happens. So they're back to 30 cards. Bummer. All right, play a crab. Mill. This will be very close. And a snaring bridge. And it's back to opponent. Oh, it swings for four. Yikes. Do we jump? I think we have to because of the bolt. So they're shuffled back into their deck. And there's Magus. Land, okay. Well, three. Play bridge. And it's back to opponent. Oh, it 
swings for three. I guess we gotta take it. Is there a bolt? No, another moon. Land cool. That's our opponent. Opponent swings for three. We'll have to jump on Crusher. Come on. No. Can't hard cast it, but we'll cycle. Oh my gosh, no. If we had one more blue land, we could do it. Oh my gosh. All right, fine. Our opponent takes this one. I'll go on game two. We're on this for this last game two. Opening hands, final key. Player land and pass. Our opponent is our Ralph. Incursion. Now play crab. Land. Our opponent brought in endurance. It shuffles graveyards. Oh my gosh. You know what? Extra pate. That's a pretty strong hand. And now pass back. Opponent fetches. Why is Utopia? He's going to play ravioli and magus this turn. Yeah. Well, no three. And then pass our opponent. Opponent fits for four. We'll take it. And here comes Luca. Trying to assault magus for Emerald. What? March. They didn't expect that. So no Emerald for them. And they also play one for crabs. Land for us. No three. No Emerald. Opponent plays Pyromancer. Arboro. Oh, and Luca targets Pyromancer. And they get Emerald. Opponent plays Stomping Ground. Make their shuffle. No three. No thirteen. I'm the daddy. Meh. Pretty close to dying. We can go Crypt Incursion. Emerald might sacrifice six permanents. Shoot. I think they have us pinned here. Because even if we gain a nutload of life, and return over our hands, like, what can we do? We'll go to 63. Opponent swings with everything. We'll bounce our land. And yep, our opponent has a shoot. A minor setback. But we're still on a mission to clap the combo decks. And now that mission continues. Opening hand, one land hand. It was a pretty good one land hand, so we're gonna keep. We'll play crab and pass. Oh, opponent passes. Imperfect the land. Mill. And it's crashing footballs. No three. And pass our opponent. Opponent plays land and passes. All right, cycle. No footballs in graveyard yet. Opponent tries to tap our land. Stop it. Cycle. And it's still no footballs in graveyard. And nice to land. No three. No three more. And it's footballs. We'll draw. Come on, surgical extraction. Where are you? Darn, no surgical. Oh, we're still looking dummy thick here. Here come the rhinos. More lands for us. Crab. Land. And should we go Tasha or draw three? That's a tough one. I think Tasha, even though they have a lot of chunky cards, they exile 12 cards, including footfalls, so she only have one left in deck. Hopefully, this fetch here make this easy. Oh, opponent plays on basic. Walk. I want to take out a crab, but now we can do this. Our opponent's upkeep. Healed. Mark of trap. And victory is ours. So we're going to game two. Going into game two is we're in this for a little, so that's going to two. Opening hand. Very land heavy. The surgical's pretty good here. We'll keep. And our main concern is endurance. Those endurance shuffles are Graveyard. Opponent passes. Narco trap. Okay. No three. Heartless and force. Oh, and they bounce the crab. Oh, opponent passes. Replay crab. Uh, violent outburst. So they get the rhinos. Smell. Nothing too good. We'll take off the falls. Oh, and what's this? No endurance in their entire deck. Interesting. These two rhinos might get us. So if we can hang in here, we'd be looking all right. They eat her butt for eight. Oh, and play furry. Another surgical. So if they flash in borrower here, we take exactly 11. Bummer. Wait, what? They don't have two blue anymore. Surgical force. Wait, I'm so confused. Did our opponent float blue? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that force is gone. And now I'll go Archive Trap. Past our opponent. We go to three. Oh, an Archive Trap, which means they have us. So we're going to game three. I came three. No change the sideboard. And this seems okay. We'll keep. I'll play the Gemstone. And oh my gosh, they counter our crabs. Racist. Opponent passes. Oh, the visions. And we'll pass our opponent. Our opponent be passing. Draw one. Bridge, okay. And echoing truth, not bad. But we can't mill here. Our opponent's passing. Do we want to extirpate the disputes? Because we could deal with the rhinos other ways. So we'll extirpate. Very an outburst in hand. And another bridge for us. Oh, and opponent's going for it. I don't think so. Opponent suspense it falls. But that won't happen for four turns. Land Sure. We'll take out the land. Make it harder to cast furry. Oh, but they grab a mountain. They're going for a shardless. That's fine. Echoing truth. Land for us. We'll draw. And crab. Nice. The crab. No three. And drop bridge. Fabulous. And here comes furry. Furry gets the crab. But now crippling depression for our opponent. Bridge. And it's back to them. Opponent passes to us. Surgical. We'll play land and pass. Rhinos come down. Opponent passes. Crab for us. Mill three. And borrower. Fantastic. We'll take out borrower so that they can't bounce our bridges. Oh, but our opponent didn't like that. Well, it wasn't that therapeutic. We are truly doing God's work. And now our work continues. Opening hand. I accept these terms. We'll keep. Oh, because the opponent's a Boreon deck. Got to mill 73 cards. The crab. Opponent fetches butt. Mill. Mill. That's a four color control deck. Opponent was Ren. Getting back Triumph. Archive trap. Okay. We'll mill. And mill. And then pass back. Opponent returns another land. Kills our crab. Fetches. Attempt to mill. Okay. But now our hand is balls. Opponent opponent's upkeep. Take out the land. Opponent cycles. Returns a Triumph. Draws a card. Okay. Oh my gosh. The sacks will pass. Opponent goes another Triumph. Passes. And surgical. Okay. It runs at seven. Which means we can get the retrace emblem and cast stuff from graveyard. We could hit random with March. Well, so much mana open. Might not work. So if we surgical, they can counter spell. Oh, and Sue's Solitude's in hand. I guess we gotta go after Ren, though. Hit Ren, gain four. And here comes Solitude. In more ways than one. We take three. Drone and lock, okay. Counter that Solitude. Oh, scary to fairy. We're so close. No! Opponent cycles. He's getting back lands. Play spreading cheeks. And cards left. Boreon goes a hand. Come on. He's your crab, okay. Play it. Land. Mill fetch. Oh, prismatic ending. We're just one card short here. We got a seven. Here comes Boreon, which means we gotta win this turn. Visions will play it, but they probably have counter. Oh, no counter. Another Visions. Oh, and this is most sexy. Play Crab. Land. Mill. Crack field. Opponent kills Crab. But we're not finished. Dark Eye Trap. And there's the game. Amazing. We're in this for this last one, too. Opening hands final keep. Now, the question is, do we play Crab now? Or do we wait? It's probably smarter to wait. We'll pass back. Opponent pass it back. And I have counter. Will they counter Hedron? They sure do. Oh, it's a fairy. We'll take a counter spell. Oh, Veil in hand. Oh, 
interesting. Sealed, crack it, finish back opponents. Upon passes, visions, lots of pass back. Ice Fang, and there's Emerald Ice Fang. Can't do anything about that because they have Scary to Fairy. They bounce the Ice Fang, I live on the growth. Tuckle, nothing interesting in graveyard. Try for bridge, bridge hits, and so does Ice Fang. Now, unfortunately, the Fairy can bounce the bridge, so it's more of a distraction here. All big to Fairy. Rolls in McCarty return. Try for down the lock. Okay, Crab, and another Ice Fang. Oh man, yep, our pawn's very favorite here. So, like, you know, it's over. Two hours later. And now it's time for game three. I'm going to game three, on this first last game three. Opening hand, I've seen better. We'll try it. Crap, okay. No three. Fairy and Solitude in Graveyard. All but first back ending. And extirpate. We just cycle. Two little to fairies in Graveyard. I've done with the plan. We'll extirpate. Our opponent can't respond. And that's some good stuff in hand. So we'll have to pass. More growth. March for us. We'll pass. No, I'm not for our opponent. Okay. Cycle. Meh. I cut our opponent's land. Full iteration. But then pass it back. Another land. Draw one. And crab, nice. The crab. Land. Try and do it again. No. There's an Omnath in Graveyard. We'll take one from their hand. Their hand's pretty strong. Oof. Yeah, their Omnath can stay in Graveyard. Because now Visions will draw three. Opponent draws. Passes. We'll draw three. Fabulous. And Tasha. Attempt to play Tasha. Opponent draws. And we mill 12. I don't know. Femorates. Sure. Femorates again. Here comes Big to Fairy. We'll pretend to counter. But they have Veil of Summer. Indeed. Put them back on our turn. Hit the Fairy. Veil of Summer. Shoot. We can't counter either. Darn. One pair of pants later. So close. So we learned a valuable lesson. And the lesson is decks have magic cards in them. Some more than others. Especially when our opponent has 80 cards in their deck. It shouldn't even be allowed. What's the point of mill if you can just put more cards? in your deck. Oh. So there we have it. With Lurus Band, Tasha's a little stinky. Although we can play artifacts now, Prismatic Ending can make things tough. And although we didn't solve racism today, we certainly clapped some combo cheeks. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay damn thick.